morning everyone welcome back to my channel excuse my morning voice i sound kind of awful but just got out of the shower i have a very very busy day today so i thought this would be the perfect day to start the vlog it's gonna be kind of an exciting week um i have some fun events and of course you guys know my parents are here so just trying to make their stay here in LA with me nice and fun even though I am like super busy throughout the week of work um, but yeah I usually do this stuff in the shower but I didn't today because that would be very awkward because this video is uh, sponsored by Aveeno and um, I wanted to share their daily moisturizing lotion with you guys and the reason why I say I usually do this in the shower keeping your lotion in the shower and then applying it like right after you finish washing off with soap it feels really weird at the moment, but it's like when you get out of the shower, you're like super moisturized. I don't know. Just give it a try and let me know how you guys like it. But today I have to do this out of the shower. But um, I wanted to share this with you guys because it is obviously, you know, fall and winter. It's a lot more dry now. It's a lot colder. And it's time to like switch out your moisturizer, your body moisturizer or body lotions for something that's a little bit more moisturizing. This one is actually fragrance free and it's their daily moisturizing lotion that nourishes dry skin and it has soothing oat and rich emollients. The reason why I switched to this as well is specifically because it is fragrance free. What I've noticed, if I use like heavily fragranced products, like either in the shower or like right out of the shower when my skin is still like moist, and like hydrated and dewy my skin gets very irritated I noticed this specifically maybe like three weeks ago now I use like a heavily fragranced body wash and when I got out of the shower even before I put lotion on my skin was like breaking out in like mini hives like there was like redness marks and everything and I feel like it continually gets irritated if I put a lotion on with fragrance so I really enjoy that this one is fragrance free it just does what it needs to do it hydrates it moisturizes um, it does feel really nice and rich on the skin without feeling like greasy and heavy so I really enjoy this I'm gonna link this below obviously Avino is a super known brand um, and it's also super affordable so love that and it does give you 24 hours of moisture so by the time you guys take a shower the next day you're still nice and moisturized and you're not like ashy we are not going to be ashy okay i always talk about this but no one wants to see your ashy skin so please moisturize thank you very much um this is the step i did in the shower um as well so you guys didn't see this but this is the avino common restore nourishing pha exfoliator i kind of just wanted to try this this is the first one that i've seen from avino that has a non-abrasive formula so it is still um, an exfoliator but it's more of like a chemical exfoliator and i'll show you guys the texture but it's kind of like milky and you just put this all over your face it also does like help cleanse your skin but i thought this would be a great product for those of you who have super sensitive skin and don't want to use like harsh exfoliants but still obviously want to get rid of dead skin anytime like winter comes around but thank you so much to Vino for sponsoring this portion of today's video my nose oh this is disgusting my nose was literally running that entire time link will be below in the description and you can buy them all on amazon so i've been really simplifying my skincare routine um, especially in the morning. At night, maybe I'll add like a couple more steps depending on how my skin feels. But in the morning, literally all I do, vitamin C, eye cream, moisturizer, and sunscreen. That's it. Just four products. And I think definitely adding a vitamin C has really helped with keeping my skin nice and smooth and no discoloration. Anytime I get breakouts, it like disappears within a couple days. So I really, really like that. Um, I think the rest of my products are in my other bathroom, so I'll see you guys later. I'm going to make a matcha latte. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That was way too hot. I forgot it wasn't iced. <clears throat> oh my god, I just burned myself, I guess. But anyways, I decided to make this hot today because it's kind of been gloomy lately. It'll start off really gloomy in the morning and then by the afternoon it's like super sunny and beautiful. But it just feels like we're moving into hot matcha territory. So I made it and it is delicious. I used um, a new matcha today by David's Tea. I've never tried their ceremonial grade matcha that comes in like this tin. It's really good though. I like it. I like the like, it's like a nice deep green color. So that's always a good sign. Um, I think I may have added a little bit too much vanilla sweetener, but it's okay. I'm gonna drink this. It's um, it's almost 10, which means Risky's gonna come here soon. And we're gonna get to work, so I'll see you a little later. I think we're going, um, we have to go shopping a little bit later, so stay tuned. My mama just woke up as well. She's trying to figure out her. Mm. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you wanna come on camera? No. <laughs> this is the outfit. Just wanted to quickly show it to you before I leave. I'm wearing the Skims dress and y'all, everything they say about this dress is true. It's so good. I got the high neckline one, so I don't have to worry about like, you know, anything poking out. And then I have this cobalt blue linen uh, blouse that I just threw over it. And yeah, super cute. So I'll explain kind of what we're doing and what we're shopping for when I get in the car. But for now, we gotta go. So we are on our way to Anthropology because tomorrow I actually have an event. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like this farm inspired event. I don't really know, but it's all the way in Temecula, which if you're from California or like Southern California, you know how far that is from LA. It's like a good two hour drive. Um, so Risky and I are gonna go there. And because it's like some beautiful like location, I was just kind of like when they invited me, I was like, um, do you guys have like a budget for this? Cause like, you know, it'd be really nice to create some content out there for you guys. And then they actually said yes. So um, yeah, I am picking out some items from their store. It's kind of a, well, I mean, it's a little bit annoying. They were supposed to like send stuff uh, by mail, but I think because it was such late notice, um, the items wouldn't have arrived on time, so they tried sending a gift card, but for whatever reason the gift card was not sending to any of my emails properly, so I'm like, I'll just buy it, you guys can reimburse me later. So we're gonna head to Anthropology. I'm just praying that they have like a good selection there, because the items that we found online were so beautiful, like the dress was just a work of art. It was so beautiful, but I don't think it's in store, unfortunately. And hopefully we can find cute outfit and then tomorrow I will definitely share all of that content what this is my mom my mom is sitting next to me she's my she's my second driver she's the she's the alarm system for me as I drive right mama mm -hmm. <laughs> But <laughs> the sun is you like to say I see thing. it, Mama. Okay. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna vlog tomorrow because it's gonna be a beautiful landscape. I can just already imagine how it's gonna be. It's gonna be on an olive farm, um, like an olive oil farm. So it's gonna be like olive trees and just I think we're getting a tour of the actual farm as well. So um, I need to make sure I wear some comfortable shoes so I don't break my ankles like the last event. I actually, I didn't vlog last time, but Risky and I went to this event with Glow Recipe and it was like at this beautiful location on the top of a hillside in Malibu. Terrifying to drive up because it was like windy roads all the way up the canyon. And then when we actually got there, it was genuinely like horse land. Like it was just like rocks and dirt and I was wearing heels like with a thin, you know, little heel part and uh, it was just, it was not fun. It was not fun. So I learned my lesson. I'm going to wear some boots. Hopefully they have some like cute, like cowboy inspired boots. That would be perfect. And yeah, it's going to be fun. So do you have anything to say, mother? Mm-hmm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> She's focused on the road. <laughs> Oh my god, it 
this is my first time vlogging on the new camera, guys. And um, wow, it looks so good. Oh this is the gosh. front camera. This looks incredible. This looks like what the front camera looks like in the actual iPhone. Yeah. But here with mommy and Misty. And we are at the Glendale Galleria once again. I was literally here like two days ago getting my iPhone. Um, and now I'm filming on it. So it is beautiful. So nice outside. Yeah. Look at our skin shining. Right, 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 right. There we go. <laughs> An Amazon style store. That's so cool. Ooh. Oh, wait, that's actually so that's cute. cute. Maybe we can film like a quick TikTok on that. We should. Yeah, that'd be cute. Oh my god, the depth of field in this. pretty. It looks so cute. Yeah, we do. Okay. <laughs> actually some like glue in here so it kind of like brings that out mm -hmm. so hopefully that looks good together we also just have some like leather jacket options um, and then this which is kind of cool actually it's like a um, puffer yeah vest. A puffer vest wow <gasps> I'm obsessed this is so stunning like the fabric is really cool and like they made it in a way where there's a lot of pleats in it so it's mm -hmm. very wide so like, like run through the olive trees, the yeah. olive trees, yeah. I love the extra fabric. This. Yeah. <laughs> She's <laughs> definitely taking that. She is not allowed. We can share. That's about it. <laughs> but yeah, obsessed. Okay, let's try with like for the girls or with the girls. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that's cute. Actually, now that I like put it on like that, it's not beautiful. No. Yeah. Yes. This is beautiful. She's a cowgirl. Mm -hmm. I like that. Oh wow. Like mother approved, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 I forgot about the hat. Yeah. <gasps> That is cute, right? That's the fit. Yeah. Do you think black or should we find like a tan one? I think black is black. good. Yeah. It's so like vibrant on camera too. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I don't have my hijab on right now, but hello. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my makeup and then we're gonna get dressed and head over there. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> this is what I ended up doing. My everyday look, of course. But this is the outfit. It's so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys without this first. It's so beautiful just like the way it like moves and stuff i love it and then we have the hat we did this hijab style which if you guys want like maybe a tutorial on this i can do it um it's very easy and then the hat fit perfectly it's like comfortable too it's not beautiful. like hurting my head or anything and then this the finishing touch because it's going to be a little bit cold i'm gonna fix it all when i like actually get there but it's so beautiful 
I'm obsessed. Oh, and how? These beautiful boots. I'm not gonna put them on right now because um, unfortunately I have to drive there. Uh, but we'll explain all of that in the car because we gotta go right now. <laughs> so guys, I am slightly freaking out <laughs> because what I thought was an almost two hour trip is now an almost three hour journey. So I'm gonna be late. I thought I was For just gonna be like- kilometers, continue straight. I thought I was gonna be like 30 minutes late, but no, I'm gonna be like an hour and a half late at this point because this event is so damn far. Like, I mean, I don't wanna be complaining because we're, we're about to go there and they might see this video, but <laughs> future brands, if you're watching this, please, please do not make an event this far unless you are flying us there or booking a bus or something because this is too much. This is too much. I completely, well I didn't forget, but I have snacks in the back, like all the way in the in the trunk. I have water, I have chit, I have popcorn, I have like two different types of granola bars, but I totally forgot to bring it up to the front. So now we're just driving in hunger and thirst. Just to make matters worse, anyways. I thought this was like a little water that I could drink, but then I remembered my mom kept this bottle with her yesterday so that she could make a stinja, like she could, what do you call it, like wash herself after using the bathroom. So obviously I cannot drink this water because it's been used for that, but um, Hopefully, you know, inshallah, I'm, I'm like a negative Nancy right now, but inshallah we get there and it's just the most like beautiful landscape. It makes me forget about the three hour drive. Like Risky's gonna attempt. Push the seat all the way back. Good thing, good thing you're very tiny. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> this was the best thing I ever could have done, honestly. Put snacks in your car, guys. Seriously the best. For real. A good time. I think we missed probably the tour. I have no idea what they did before this, but we made it for dinner, so I'm very excited about that. Okay, it's so beautiful. We have the same version on, but different colors. Oh, In community and collaboration, and I. It's a casual, like, YouTube vlog, so. Just on, like, the night mode. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna take my utensils. about to pick me up and this is the outfit I'm wearing jeans are made well shoes are Ralph Lauren um, belt is from TJ Maxx this cropped cardigan or cropped blazer is H&M hijab is Vela and then this is the anthro purse I was carrying yesterday I feel like it goes really well with the outfit this came together so quickly I literally got ready in like 35 minutes so I gotta go this event is for Bobby Brown. I'll explain more on the way. So I got to the event kind of late. 
but it's okay, we're here. About to go upstairs and do a little Friday night grill. Marinated some chicken. We have some zucchini and some corn. We're gonna enjoy a nice dinner on the rooftop. Or San Francisco. San Francisco. <laughs> right, Mama? <laughs> That's how my mom pronounces it. San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, we like last minute booked a trip to San Francisco, so we're well my dad's gonna drive there. And we got a rental, hotel, all that, so it'll be really, really nice. And we're just gonna go there for like a day and a half, explore the city, and then come back. just the cheapest room and then anytime I come I just ask them to upgrade me to like the more expensive room and it works every single time plus <laughs> another ad um, I also get like basically daily breakfast for two nine dollar value and then a hundred dollars for food and beverage to spend like while I'm here it's only one night so we're just gonna like have a big breakfast tomorrow or I guess or we can try a restaurant um, and then we get 4 p.m. checkout tomorrow so that'll be really nice Right, Daddy? Yeah. Yeah. However, we did pay $78 for valet, so that was my bad. But it's okay. <laughs> this is nice. You finally get to sleep on a bed. <laughs> it just looks like you're going to jump off the cliff. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it holds me. <laughs> From 25 sunny degrees to winter in five hours. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Gotta go all the way down this hill. 
We're going out for dinner at this place called Soto Mare. Hopefully it's not too busy, but we're gonna be in Little Italy anyway, so we can try out different places if it is. Dinner was amazing. We went to the California fish market in Little Italy. Did you like the food? Yeah. Very good? Bono? Yeah. <laughs> Did you like the food? Oh, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> My mom said she's never eaten Italian food. Italian food can be a special You're welcome, Ben. Very nice. Now we're just gonna walk all the food off because I truly have never eaten that much. I don't think any of us have eaten that much in a long time. But everything was amazing. So if you're in SF, yeah, it was all seafood. If you're in San Francisco, definitely check it out. We wanted to go to Sote Soto Mare first, but it was so full. So we went right next door. Amazing. Happy Sunday. We are about to go eat breakfast at the restaurant downstairs um we have technically it's breakfast for two people but we can use the remaining money on the other one so <coughs> how did you guys sleep good okay. yeah i know you slept good daddy yeah i know snoring all night all night uh-huh beautiful is this what the one in toronto looks like now mm-hmm in Toronto. Yeah, but this one is beautiful too. Mm -hmm. You look pretty, Mama. Yeah? Right. It is actually pretty cold in San Francisco, so thankfully, I can wear all my fall clothes without being very hot, and I can be comfortable with this today. Thank you so much. Wow. That's perfect, thank you. And do you have hot sauce? Got a breakfast. <laughs> a popular bakery but the line <laughs> was atrocious so we actually ended up walking by this farmer's market so it's actually really cute I got a croissant because I don't know why but I'm kind of hungry again and then I have a matcha latte and we're just gonna explore the farmer's market I like it from this place called Square Pie Boys. I'm so excited to eat it. My parents are just coming down real quick. Look how happy she is. Look how happy she is. I thought what happened. <laughs> and I said hello. Oh my son. When my dad were and I were taking photos, we were parked next to a car that looked exactly like this and they literally both just opened the door and got into the seat and my mom was in the back like hello. <laughs> 